Old Havana. Come on, focus. I know you can do it. Come on, buddy. You can focus. 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 It's not working. Well, anyway, this is Old Havana. It's a 7x52 Churchill. Uh, as far as I know, it's actually Dominican, so I don't know why they go with Old Havana unless they're trying to go with classic Havana style or Cuban style flavors. Wow, this is just not one to cooperate with me today. Okay, does this work? Kind of. Well, it wasn't focused for about a split second. Anyway, I've already pre-cut it because uh, I'm kind of out here in just uh, a field in my shorts. Well, you know, the shorts I'd run in, but yeah. <laughs> not to say I just make a habit of going around nothing but a pair of underwear or something like that. But at any rate, uh, yeah, I've gone ahead and pre-cut this because my lighter, uh, not my lighter, my cutter, is a nice Z car, and it's on a big, huge keychain, and it's a little awkward in uh, a pair of PT shorts. Okay, almost had it, almost had it, come on. Focus. It just doesn't want to do it. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this lit up, uh, figuratively speaking. It's a little breezy, and all I've got is two dodgy lighters and a book of matches, so uh, fingers crossed this actually works. Okay, so, uh, I got it. A couple of uh, cardboard matches later, but I got it. So far, kind of bland. No spice. Earthy. That's what I'm getting off. A little earthiness. There's also something kind of almost cocoa in there. Anyway, decent start so far. Better than I thought it was going to be. Boy, Raptor construction looks pretty good. Uh, no huge veins, tight seams, everything looks fine. It's a good double cap on there, so it just kind of dawned on me that I keep leaving that out of my, my videos here, so. I'll get back to you after about an inch and uh, see if anything uh, changes. And everybody's out riding their bike and playing golf. Okay, so, getting to about an inch here. That's just kind of flowering a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that. It could be the breeze, which is probably hitting my micro right now. Um, the flavor so far is kind of bland, but interesting. It's kind of hard to put my finger on it. Uh, it's largely just plain tobacco, but the Red Hill so far has been a little yeasty, bready, and I'm kind of getting a little bit of almost a leatheriness in uh, the actual smoke of is very difficult to describe. It's a slight bitterness, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's interesting. It's so subtle a flavor that I'm having trouble pinpointing any actual flavors in it, aside from just plain tobacco. Well, anyway, we'll get to you either after the uh, ash flops off or halfway point, whichever comes first. But well, ash just flopped off. Got down about maybe two inches. Which kind of makes me wonder about the color of this. I don't know what the hell's going on with this little tail thing here, but it's been really flowery in the ash. I'm getting a little bit of a wonky burn here. And I'm not too sure if that's just because there's a breeze or if it's just this construction. The overall pack has been really squishy. So it's consistently squishy all the way through. So I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. I don't think it's a Cuban sandwich stall. It might be though. Especially because of the fact that I only got maybe about two inches of ash off of it. Uh, before it eventually just flipped up into, uh, well, basically nothing. Or the halfway point. Okay, so, had a little bit of a touch up. The ash is doing this really crazy kind of firebird flower thing. Helping man, how can I get like a bunch of bikers and dog walkers all over the place? That just irritates me. But uh, yeah, the ash has been doing all kinds of crazy. I'm thinking this is a human sandwich just because of how flaky this ash is. So far, flavors have been straight tobacco, very subtle leather. About the halfway point, there's been some kind of spicy. I don't know if I'm just hotboxing it or what, but overall, it's just been very, very bland. Uh, there's just not a whole lot going on in here. Uh, whatever there is going on is very, very subtle to the point where you can kind of almost not really notice it's there. Thin, wispy smoke. It's not bad, it's just that there's not a whole lot going on. It's basically just clean tobacco. That's just about it. But, but this construction is just weird. It's getting really squishy all the way through. And I don't know if that's just 
around with heat or just what, but no. I'll get back to you at the band, see if anything's better. Nice little under bridge here. Here's hoping I don't get completely whitewashed or blacked out, but getting close to the band here. Also, there's a little bit of weird acoustics because I am underneath the bridge. You may hear traffic overhead and a slight breeze. But so far, it's actually kind of nice under here. It's cool, it's a nice stream. As for the cigar, I'm pretty sure this is a short filler mixed slash mixed filler Cuban sandwich style cigar. I have never seen ash flower anywhere near as bad as this. And it's just really, really squishy. The draw all the way through has been pretty consistent, a little on the loose end, but it's definitely loosening up and there's uh, a little bit of a bitterness creeping in. So that tells me that uh, there's probably some resins building up and there's tar. Uh, they're probably getting burned up. And it's making for some overall kind of ash tree lichens. It's, uh, it's definitely not going to be a very nice experience at this point. I kind of have to double puff on it because it kind of feels like it wants to go out. Well, I'm going to keep going on here, get past the band, and uh, tell you exactly what the hell's going on with this thing. But so far, I can definitely say if you get a chance to find these things, pass by all means. Spend a little bit more, get something that's a little bit more worth your time. Uh, hi, Pigeon. Yeah, I'll get back to you after, uh, <laughs> after the band here. Final update on this, I kind of figured out one of the reasons for that little rat tail thing. There's a big huge stem running out of this thing. And so far for the, the whole thing, this is, yeah, the overall flavors have been relatively consistent. If I got any kind of spice, it's because I was basically just kind of hot boxing. Uh, towards the end, it's getting real bitter. Uh, it's staying oddly cool, oddly enough. But uh, I can definitely tell this is definitely a cumin sandwich. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's definitely a lot of schmutz, uh, loose tobacco sticking out the uh, head here. So it tells me that it's a mixed full of cigar. Yeah, there it is. Oh boy. Yeah, so far the flavors in this have been getting really bitter and just yeah. Definitely not a cigar you wanna throw money away on uh, if I get in a bundle. I swear the sun comes out, everybody goes for a bike ride and walks the dog when they do. So, end of, end of the day on this thing, pass by all means. Spend a little bit more, get something better. For more cyclists. <sighs> okay, uh, in closing though, uh, if you can make it up to Washington, D.C., August 8th, 2016, uh, that's the Herf of the Capitol. It's a big march to try to keep the FDA from regulating hand rolled cigars, premium tobacco, and uh, basically anything that's not a cigarette or a vape. <laughs> as far as I know. Uh, basically, it's a big, huge cigar event. They, I think they'd have three, three cigars. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, bring some of your own. Go ahead and uh, leave the capital with a haze of smoke. I was going to say something else, but I completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I was going to point out that uh, every person you can bring in, you know, bring your spouse, bring your brother, your uncle, your sister, your mother's, you know, your brother's uncle, second cousin, twice removed. Everybody you can. Get them out to the D.C. August 8th because every additional voice, every puff of smoke that pops up is uh, one more voice saying, leave us alone, you and the A.H. State thinking. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's a bunch of people out there that think they have to rule over your entire life and everything that you do. And it's absolutely wrong. It's un-American and it has no purpose being in politics. And it's just such a weird issue to focus on. Anyway, uh, if I had the uh, resources and the means, I would probably be there. Uh, sadly, I don't, so you're more, unless a miracle happens by August, you're probably not going to see me there, unfortunately. Keep in mind, I will be there in spirit, uh, in spirit, which means basically going to be sitting on the sidelines, shaking a pom-pom, trying not to look like a complete doofus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely get as many people as you can, uh, get as many you know, your friends, your friends' friends, everybody. Even if they don't smoke cigars, just grab them by the ears and drag them down. Beyond that, that's about the end of this thing. This is about to go out. Definitely pass on this. This is going to start leaving a lot of stuff in my mouth, for sure. Beyond that, that's pretty much all I got. 
If you like this video or any other video, by all means, like, favorite, subscribe. You'd be doing me a big favor. Other than that, I will see you next time.